Today's topic is about the recent full moon and new moon, excuse me, the recent new moon in Virgo and how it allowed me to go inwards. Now, when I'm very connected to the moon for many reasons and um, I've noticed maybe within the past six months that I actually begin to feel the moon's energy at least two weeks prior. And I'm, so I'm trying to actually tap into the other phases of the moon to enhance the quality of my life because I'm so uh, tuned in. My body is just naturally tuned into the moon cycle. I feel it more so for the new and the full moons, uh, super moons, uh, especially um, and eclipses, yes, eclipses. I'm um, <laughs> solar and lunar. Oh man. So, yes. Uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the Virgo Virgo new moon actually allowed me to um, go within and you know really figure things out because I have a quote unquote system going on with myself but it's not adding to the quality of my life it was actually depleting me and i was just doing the best that i could with the knowledge that i had as we all are but i do not enjoy as many people enjoy getting sick and i actually became sick and um it wasn't just about <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to take a sip of some tea. It wasn't just about getting sick. It was the means. I believe it was like maybe like the means in which I became sick. Like I was really, really depleted. It hit me out of nowhere. And even while I was sick, I noticed that I was contemplating with myself. Like the nerve of me contemplated with myself whether I should continue the system that I had going on with myself or I should just do nothing, which is an issue because I should not be contemplating with myself about doing anything. Um, I needed the rest and I, I did it. I actually forced myself to just not do anything and I think I spoke about this on another video but it was a bit uncomfortable because I just be I be going so because I did that it allowed me to think about the things that I really needed to think about about which was is pertaining to my, my system and my actual system and my um i have to be more intentional with my system i mean my body is already doing what it needs to do to protect me to love on me to make sure i stay alive and wake up and you know it's doing what it has to do but am i consciously doing what i have to do and i don't think i was i, I think i lost sight of that so um Again, it allowed me to go within and really figure things out. And um, <clears throat> I'm I've, begin I've begun to implement new changes to enhance the quality of my life because I really want to experience a heightened experience within my life. Um, I feel like it's already heightened, being that I know how it feels for it to be lowered <laughs> in a low state, uh, consciously and unconsciously. But this time, I I really feel the heightened state, and because I feel, I really feel it, and I'm in tune with it. I am continuously trying to align with it. And but I've noticed that, you know, 
Like I got blind spots and I have to be on top of it. So and all in all, it's okay. Um, so I, one of the questions I had to ask myself was, was I delivering what I needed to myself? You know, not thinking about was anything outside of myself delivering anything to me. That, that's not that's not the point here. The point here is, are you and I delivering what it is that I need for myself in order for me, myself to thrive, in order for me to experience the highest quality, the highest potential, the highest timeline within my own life, within one's own life. And I wasn't. I, <laughs> I wasn't delivering to myself and I was like, like, we're not gonna continue this. Like that's not gonna be continued. So I've implemented changes. I feel like I just said this, <laughs> forgive me. Uh, I've implemented changes and uh, uh, I'm starting bit by bit because for some reason I have, you know, when you, when you really, serious about doing something and you feel it like you if you know you know and sometimes it may be a bit difficult to actually begin and if you then once you do begin it's, it may be a bit challenging for you to continue to be consistent and that's because you you know your body intuitively knows already like you you're aligning with your highest timeline with your highest self and when when you when you are about to embark or you are embarking on that path there's going to be things being thrown at you why because it is your highest timeline and that's what i'm facing right now like i can feel my highest timeline in the consciousness that I have at this present moment, and it's bigger than I've ever experienced in within feeling within self, and so I've I've never felt it. I've never been there before, and I have to prepare for a, a, an, an individual within a space and time that I've never experienced before, and that's actually monumental for me and my reality. That's that's monumental so it's gonna take a lot of unknown and known aspects of myself in order for me to align with that to actually meet her there and not only do I know that but outside forces know that as well because if I feel it other people and energies feel that too so they're going to do what they do you know I have to do what I have to do in order to align with that highest timeline and they're going to do all that they need to do in order for me to not align with that highest timeline because this version that's speaking right now will never exist again and people benefit from this version of yourself in this present moment. And <clears throat> some people are, they rely on it. They don't know how to not rely on the current versions of individuals in the current stories that's being perpetuated in the current time. They don't know how to survive without it. So they either consciously or unconsciously do things to make sure that you, it takes you a little while longer to get there or you don't get there at all. And honestly, that's neither here nor there because those energies, like either if you're an alchemist, you could alchemize those energies and use it, alchemize, I'll ask, excuse me, alchemize those energies to use it for self and build yourself with that or if you are a person individual that likes to return to sender you can return to sender it's going to go back to sender regardless even if you don't but i like to personally alchemize those energies 
and just go back within because I mean it works so anyway um, yes so I've been yes I want the one of the questions was was I delivering um, on my health wealth and abundance and I am actually reconfiguring uh, reconstructing what abundance is for me because I'm I've been going through so many changes and so much is happening outside of myself um, I'm finding the I'm consistently finding the peace within the chaos and you know chaos is love at the end of the day because if things are not chaotic you cannot unravel that chaos to get back to the love you know, it takes love to get there regardless. Anyway, so, you know, um, yes, yeah, so I've been trying, I've been, I've been recognizing what is abundance to me and wholeheartedly accepting that abundance um, and building on my abundance and what is wealth to me also. Um, I think my programmed mind still there's little bits and pieces of that excuse me that still exists as far as my wealth because the first thing that comes to mind is finances and and there's nothing wrong with that but there's so much that once you <laughs> when you are not where you want to be whatever comes to mind first and if you're not where you would like to be um, it, it brings you to, well, how far have you come? And I think about that now. Recently, I've been thinking about that a lot. And compared to six months ago, I am in a completely different space. And I am very proud of myself for being in a completely different space. Am I where I would like to be? No. However, I am very happy with where I am. I know how to calm, again, I know how to calm the chaos and be the peace within the chaos. And I've, I'm just so far from um, where I was six months ago. And actually, I believe on the 25th of this month, it will be 25, uh, on the 25th, 25 is significant, on the 25th, and that equals seven. And that is abundance, that's wealth. Mm, I'm telling you. Anyway, so on the 25th of this month will actually be, if I'm not mistaken, it'll be six months after the lunar, equi lunar eclipse we had. I'm not sure if it was a lunar or a lunar or solar. I, I, I can't quite recall, but it, it was an eclipse. And we're, we're actually on the 17th of this month, we're going back into eclipses, eclipse season. And that's um, six months is significant. Like think back six months from, from, from now, oh my God, six months prior to now. And where, where, where were you? Have you grown? Are you in a better space? Um, and if, if you're not, if you're not happy with where you are compared to six months prior from now, from this time, present moment, start, make today day one because eclipse season has started and so many changes happens very rapidly, very rapidly. And I can attest to it because I believe actually six months ago, um, I, I, I was going through a housing situation and I actually began doing, and this was during eclipse season, so I would be, had begun to do, like, I had to find ways to calm the chaos. And I did, I started to do a 30-day affirmation um, challenge with myself and it felt so good. And I also was practicing yoga. And um, it felt so good. It really did. I, I was really like 
had peace with myself. And um, the 30 days actually turned into 60, and then the 60 turned into 90. And I completed it, and I was really proud of myself. And then I also realized that um, during that time, I actually um, was, I just, I, because I started that journey with the yoga again and the daily affirmations, um, I had stopped doing so much of my self-care, physical self-care, as far as, like, I was doing facials and things like that and such, and, but I realized that I had been doing it, those facials that I did, I implemented that a year prior to that. So I've been really, like, honed in to bettering the quality of my life. Like, it's it, it, it comes in cycles. And so I'm not, even right now, I'm not hard on myself because I'm already in the groove of that. I Last year, I made sure that I got my hair, my locks back to the health, got not back, got it to a healthy state um, because I had fell off. I didn't, I was, there was a lot going on. Again, there, there's always so much going on and I had, to, I got tired of, Putting thing, putting myself on a back burner because so much, so many things were going on outside of myself, and I had to be the peace. So I allowed myself to like my outer circumstances always allows me to go back within. I have to go back home here. And you see the background is green. Like it's, this is about the heart chakra. The heart chakra is significant, and I am also ruled by the heart chakra. So this is like very. This is so significant. Like this is my time, you know. And I'm sure if you're listening to this, this is your time as well. So yes, um, I went. It just kept. I had to keep going with it. I had. I have. And I'm not gonna say that, but I, I had to, I had, and I continue to have to go with it. So, yes, I, I had to get my locks back to the, get not back. I have to, had to get my locks to a healthy state in which I was okay with, very pleased with, and I have. Um, and I continue to enhance the health of my locks. Um, and I was doing facials and yoni steams and um, foot soak, salt foot soaks, and um, I was making my own shampoo and um, my own um, facials, natural facials, and soaking my hands and getting my cuticles to a healthy state and. And this is all without the products that I was actually, commercial products that I was used to. Commercial meaning, I've all, I've, for, very, for many years, over 10 years, I've been using natural products, but I didn't have access at that time last year to those natural products. And um, so I was using like really raw organic material. I was using what I had. I had coconut milk. I was using coconut milk. I had honey. I was using honey instead of, um, I don't even know instead of because I can't even think of anything else. But um, yeah, I was just using literally what I, I was like. I'm a kitchen witch. I, talk to me. I will put it together. I will put it together. I made my own aloe oil. Um, I was going for walks, picking the, whatever I was drawn to, I was picking it. I, I trust my intuition when it comes to that. And I was drying it in the sun. Like this is pure sun infused products. Like, oh man, I'm, I'm glimmering right now because I'm so proud of myself. Like I really did that. I really did that. And it was, it was a time. I actually miss it. I think about it. I've been thinking about it a lot lately because I want to get it back into um, doing things like my witch shit. Yeah, I, don't know, I, I do. It, it makes me happy. So yeah, so I was doing that and 
I don't know where I, I went off. So, oh, the chaos. So yes, when, when things get chaotic, it's just, it's a time for me to get back into self. So yes, I got back into self and I realized that six months ago, yes, that I've been doing that for a whole entire year. So I was like, I've been doing that for a whole year. So I, I, I gave myself grace and I was like, I don't, my, I'm, I'm gonna get to that. So I stopped doing the facial, excuse me, but I was, I got into something else, like just like maintaining what I already had and what I worked myself towards. And then, um, so yes, that happened. And we're back, so again, six months. And um, things are a bit chaotic for me, outside of me. And I have to find myself, find my peace again. So I want to actually build muscle and strength. And um, I'm, I don't have a routine, so to speak, yet. I do, but I'm not, I do, I, I, I have it. And um, I have to do, I have to see how I feel every day and to see what it is that I wanna do, meaning like, do I wanna do bed yoga? Do I wanna do floor yoga on the mat? Do I wanna do a little bit of Pilates today? Do I want to, um, uh, build, do something, do some exercises to build my muscle, to build strength. I mean, I want to actually, like, the way my mind is, I, it, 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 the way my mind runs is like, I want to do everything. But I be tired. I really do be tired. And I have to really check in with myself from time to time. I'm like, I'm a cat. Like, if I'm, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not pushing it. I know what it feels like to push myself and it does like the results of that it doesn't feel good and I'm not trying to perpetuate that those acts it's a disservice to myself and I am not like people will conveniently be a disservice to you I am not going to allow myself to be a disservice to me um so yes and like I'm gonna flow with I'm gonna flow with the energy I'm gonna flow with the energy I'm actually even considering like I teach and I'm actually considering not teaching um, one of my positions I'm considering not even doing anymore because <sighs> you can't teach somebody that doesn't want to learn and um, Yes, it's a child, but I, I can't, it takes a lot of energy to, to do so regardless. <clears throat> but when you have opposition, um, <clears throat> it's just not conducive. So I, I'm already, I'm considering like really dialing back on a lot of things, a lot of things. Um, yes. One moment. Oh. So, with all of these thoughts that have been ruminating in my mind when it comes to the well-being, the overall well-being of me, um, I, like I said, finances comes to mind first, and it is in like I'm that type of person. I don't know. Someone can probably relate. I know someone can. Like, I've never... When I was little... Let's take it back. Let's take it way back. When I was younger, a little girl, I did not... I could not understand... No, like, my brain would come to a standstill when it came to a $1 million. I was just like... What is the value of that? Like, what do you what do you mean you want a million dollars? Like, if you had a million dollars, your whole entire life would change. Like, how? It's one million dollars. I get it, but I just didn't understand. And it, even into my adulthood, I didn't really get it. And for many reasons, I didn't get it. And at first, I used to think that I was just a little slow. And then I was just like, nah, I'm not fucking slow. <laughs> like, I, I'm not from here. <laughs> and so money doesn't make sense to me. It makes sense. 
but it doesn't make sense in the aspect of we really need money to to do the things that is our birthright because a man a person said that this is how the world is going to be ran you know like because you want to be powerful and greedy and it's it's not <laughs> that type of shit don't make sense to me but i i get it you know like i've i've had to be able to in order to <sighs> blend in with this matrix i've had to be able to comprehend the foolery that is foolery <laughs> so um ever since i i, I would say like i chose to comprehend it um i'm just like okay how am i going to build my abundance and wealth when it comes to finances and it's been a ruminating question i have many gifts and talents i was gonna say talent talented talents mm -hmm. i have many gifts gifts and talents but I don't know where to begin, but that's another story. And it's, but I, through that, I realized that that's where, like, it's not the gifts and talents, so to speak, because, you know, well, okay. Hold on. It's, I'm channeling. It's more so that My gifts and talents are just me. It's me. It's what I do every day that I don't think, the things that I don't think about. Like the way my mind operates, no one else's mind operates the way that mine does. The way, how emotionally intelligent I am, how I can pick up on energy, how I can read energy, how I can tap into a child in order to make sure that as they move forward in life they don't have to question that one thing about themselves ever because <clears throat> that one thing will actually kill their self-esteem and lead them down to a that down a path that is just not promising for them you know you know, like that self-doubt is not necessary when it comes to anyone especially a child and if you have the opportunity to divert that and instill esteem in them fucking do it so anyway like i'm already like i just naturally exercise my gifts and talents but i don't i want to say talents is so much talents is what is that? I'm gonna write that down. Um, anyway, so, yeah, talents. So every time I, I think about it, it's like, yeah, but what am I gonna do with that? And that's not even a question. Like, but the thing is, I have to just start. I have to just do something. And I noticed that um, two, three years ago when I had, like, I had nothing to do. Um, I turned my apartment in Harlem into, like, in, in a forest. Um, it was looking real psychedelic. Like, oh, man, it was just so beautiful. I was, like, in a sanctuary. I didn't even think about the fact that I was in Harlem and didn't want to, I knew I wanted to leave Harlem, but I didn't think about when I was in my apartment, I didn't think about the fact that I was in Harlem, like my home was an oasis and I miss my baby so much. I miss her so much. Like I put my all into that. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Like, okay, I need, I have to just start doing the things that come from my heart that I naturally can do and do and just do it on a consistent basis and that's how 
things will start flowing with ideas of how to turn that into my wealth financially. And when that'll be the avenue that spirit will be able to gift me the finances. It was in a fucking an epiphany. Like it literally came to me and I'm like, oh, okay, okay. But first I have to rest. I have to pour into myself immensely, intentionally, consciously, and consistently. <clears throat> I have to, like, I, as as I'm ascending, like these things, these epiphanies, creates ascension moments, and it is not easy. Like this, this realm is so dense. When as you ascend, like, oh man, it's physically you feel it, and I don't think a lot of people talk about that. Like, you really feel it physically, and that's why, like, I don't, I'm not hard on myself when it comes to me being well becoming ill and things like that because it's a part of the ascension process um but it doesn't feel good <laughs> it does not feel good it, it does not feel good like the simple thing like i don't get i know what women go through when it comes to um their moon cycle I've been in the I've been in the spectrum of having severe cramps. Like this is when I first went through puberty and I went through puberty very young, you know, and that's another topic, like the poison, the similac, the poison, the drugs, the environment, the stress, genetics, the processed foods. I mean, it's like I said, it's another another topic, but I went through puberty very young and I'm sure that me, my body experiencing that, like it was traumatic with me experiencing the pains and the things that went through my body during my moon cycle growing up. Like imagine being in fourth grade, fourth grade dealing with that wait <laughs> anyway so yeah uh, it just took me back because imagine being in third grade with breasts like that is that type of like <laughs> it, it 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 really did something to me so anyway um Yes, the women going through PMS symptoms, you know, in this day and age, I can only imagine what women are really going through. I don't go through those typical symptoms anymore, but I do get very, 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 very fatigued. And on a daily basis, I'm already fatigued because I'm an energy reader. And I have to work, my job is to work to not absorb, just observe. And um, yeah, so I get very fatigued. And at time, like when I'm absorbing a lot, unintentionally, I get headaches. That puts me out and um, I forgot where I was going with this, but um, yeah, I, I don't know where I was. Uh, menstruals, moon cycles. I lost my thought. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. It's a lot of energies, a lot of energies. Like um, we're we're stardust. <laughs> we're made up of everything that is in this universe. So when things are happening astrologically, um, we're going through it too. Whether you are aware of it or not, we're going through it too. So knowing your birth chart and um, 
the sun cycles and the moon cycles and your cycle and other people's cycles and how they're affected by it and it, it's, it, it becomes a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here because I've actually, um, I'm gonna end it here. Tucking up the deuces. <laughs>